my mum always used to say to me that if you eat carrots, you'll be able to see in the dark, but this gives it a whole new perspective. So one of the first things we need to do at the beginning of one of our afternoon shifts is to check the night vision goggles actually work. And fasten it up nice and tight. And then what you do then is nice and gently pull your goggles down so you're looking through. The trick is that you should be able to see through your goggles to see outside of the cockpit and then underneath your goggles to be able to see what's in the cockpit itself and assist the pilot with various bits and bobs. So you've only got approximately 40 degrees of view. So the trick is that you would continually move your head from side to side, looking through the goggles to make sure that you've got a decent view while you're looking throughout the cockpit. The downside to that is that there's no depth perception and you can't actually judge the distance you are away from trees or the obstacles. Hey, on goggles. If you imagine looking at a TV screen and the only image you're seeing is in green and black, that is effectively what we're seeing through the goggles. It's just getting used to that sort of um, field of view, isn't it, I suppose? The problem is now, this is that really horrible time where it's just dark. You don't get the same depth perception as you would do looking at a normal view of, of a hillside or something like that, so it does become very, very flat. It's completely different when you get full moon. Yeah. The old shadow, you get shadows in the fields from the trees and stuff like that. It does look like a summer's day. I was quite daunted at first because we, we, we've been taught from day one of us training that we're not going to land at night time and there's a lot of obstacles, we need to be able to see these obstacles. That is the target. That's the target, right? Yeah. To actually come into a field over some trees. We've got no wires that I can see. Not be able to see the slope in the ground as we come in to land. No, I think it's safe. You can see in pitch blackness. We're going to try and identify the site. I'm going to put it in my right two o'clock. The first time it was like descending into an abyss. So all those hazards we would have talked about, like wires and this, that and the other, relying on each other to sort of sing them out and say, yep, we've seen that, we've seen that. At night time, the countryside is pitch black. You cannot see fields or anything. It's just complete blackness. Are we happy to commence our landing? Because ultimately, that's what we're going to achieve at the other end. Using the night vision goggles enables us to illuminate any light that is there through the moon or the lighting coming up from the street lights so we can actually see more where we're going to go. I'm going to put the searchlight on now and I'm going to start using my searchlight. It's going to be a massive step forward in patient care. We get quite frustrated when we know of an incident quite a distance away or in the middle of a country lane that we can't get to. Those winter road traffic accidents that we've never been able to get to before, the, the rural heart attack patients that we've never ever been able to reach before because of just the location of where they are. It's going to make us feel a lot more comfortable because we can actually now get the treatment that these patients deserve and need and then take them to a, a suitable hospital. And that literally will be a matter of life and death in certain places.